What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World and I'm gonna tell you guys right now You probably knew it was coming, bro. This dude Ted Hendricks is straight garbage, bro Now I'm gonna explain to you guys a few reasons why like I said He could be useful on your team and why he's not working out for us. So to make it easier We're gonna actually go to it in this um on this screen so we can kind of understand exactly what's going on so he's one of the unique guys that it's like there was nothing even when i told you guys we were going to you know experiment with him there's nothing really spectacular about him you know what i'm saying like other than him being able to stop the run he's like one of those cards where it's like ea you couldn't give him 199 stat like the dude's garbage but he went out there he was able to like make plays on the run and stuff like that i thought it was something that would last it did not this dude needs to go and he needs to go right now the good news for our squad is that we really don't need another left outside linebacker at the moment so later on um as they start to release stuff we will be able to fill this gap with no issues so let me show you what i mean by that Whenever you're raid selling someone or removing them from your squad effective immediately, you have to make sure that they do not affect the team chemistry. So what that means is when you go over to your defensive side of the ball, I need you guys to always check these two things. Like you should be able to have your dual chemistry going on. You got to make sure that it's not affecting that. That's the number one thing you always want to do. As far as the physical chems, you also want to make sure it's not affecting this. All right, so I think we have Sprinter on him, so that's fine. Cause Sprinter, we're up to 44, so we're way over the 30. So we won't really need anything to actually, you know, feel a need to add a player right now. We can just get rid of this guy and just be done with him for now. All right, so what we're gonna do to make it easier is we're gonna remove him from the, remove him from the lineup, so that way we know it doesn't affect everything. And then we're gonna go over here again and just check it, all right? Everything is still good, we're still above the 30. Uh, the Brawler's still good, Sprinter's still good, our 49er Chem is still good. We can now move on and go and rage sell them in the privacy of our item binder, all right? So let's go over to the item binder and check out what this guy's doing. We're gonna get everything back from him. Um, like I said, we've been doing a lot of different changes, a lot of different upgrades. Um, shout out to you guys for enjoying the content. If you've been keeping up with the actual videos and you know about all the new additions, go ahead and write the number seven in the comment section so we can know who's with us and who's just out there dilly daddling, bro, and don't know what's going on with the team, man. Like, we really out here rocking it. So let's go ahead and take everything off this guy. See, this is where it's crazy because we, you use that, that 16,000 training is so crazy, bro. Like it really is. And that's why I tell you guys, just be very, very careful with the upgrades and the things that you guys are doing because it's just wild. Like EA has the most ridiculous amounts of training to use for all these things. But we're gonna get about 400K for him maybe. Um, but for the most part, people realize that he was garbage and his price has been dropping like very, very steadily. So it's not gonna be amazing if you see him going for, you know, record low prices or anything. Um, it just means that people have realized like, yo, this dude is garbage. And he's even trash, trash on full Raider themes, uh, theme teams as well. So it's not even all about what we're doing. He's just not a good card right now. See, he's down to 389. The dude's garbage. All right, so look, we're gonna put him up for like, I guess we put him up for like 379 because we need, we need him gone now. Like, I don't even wanna waste time with it. So we'll just put him up for 379, wish him good riddance, the dude's garbage, and we move on. This guy can also go, well, what are you going for? Uh, 46, all right, so we'll put you up for like 39, so that way, you know, somebody will get both the cards, power you up, maybe a Raider fan out there uh, wants to use them or whatever, and then, um, you know, wish them the best with that uh, as we move along. Um, so those two are gone. We're still trying to figure out what we're gonna be doing with this Von Miller. I told you that we are not, in any case, going to quick sell him for that stupid amount of training he's eligible for seven sets so we're gonna have to find the best set maybe one of the team of the year uh players will go i don't want to go 93 to 94 because like i guess that would make us i don't even know bro I, I think probably we just hold him we just hold on to him until you know ea releases another set which i don't know what their sets are going to be we have to see how creative they get with uh, new promos going forward. Maybe there'll be something else we can do with a 91 overall so we can make some coins uh, from the situation. Um, but for now, like I said, we don't have anything else that's going on specifically with that situation. Now, as we move forward, we can go take out, uh, check out the Color Smash, um, their exchange, the random Color Smash. You can see that it's 483 to 84 uh, and 281 to 83, so the 91 doesn't apply. This is pretty much how we go through it. Now, you could, I think the Super Bowl promo may have something. Um, 
they may, they may have something. The Super Bowl promo may have something that can help us a little bit. I'm not really 100% sure, but I think they could. Um, everything else that's going on here, we don't, I'm just going ahead and going through everything to kind of check to make sure that there's nothing going, oh, did they have an exchange set in one of these? What was this one? Um, exchange any 785 to 87 theme builder two players. To, okay, so those are theme builder two players. So that doesn't apply to what we're trying to do. The Super Bowl players with the Super Bowl present. I think it's all Super Bowl. Yeah, it had. To be, it has to be the actual Super Bowl players uh, for these over here, except for this one, the 80 to 82 and 183 to 84. Yeah, all that crap. All right, those I never had any luck with. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it. This is why I was saying that it would probably make sense to do this. The issue is, you know, we have three of them. We would have to probably spend a little something to get these two. And then for what though? Cause we'd have to check the prices of the team of the year defensive cards. I, we don't want to spend 100K to make 100K just so that we don't, you know, lose the fact that he's a net. If there's other ways to make, if there's, you know, other ways to make currency, we'll go after it those ways. All right, exchange five. That's all NFL playoff players. That doesn't work for us. The zero chill, we saw that he was eligible for this set. Um, the 92 to 94. So 391 to 92 to earn one random. Uh, what, what, you know, like what, what's that all about? Okay, 94, 95. Exchange three times 93 to 94. So this doesn't even make any sense because if you exchange that many, you could just, you know, you're pretty much gonna make the money back. Exchange two. And what is this? Exchange three of these. For not, so we only have one of that. So the 91s, what are they going for right now? Let's see what, what let's see what comes up. 40. So it would cost us about 80. We could probably lurk it for a little bit less. Um, the 93 to 94s. Um, nah, nah. This one, I, I don't know. I did these sets a lot when we were going up, going ahead and doing that gingerbread men uh, method or whatever. But I really don't. Um, I really don't see. Hold on, what was this one? Uh, exchange three to earn one random out of position player. No, nah, that's all garbage. All right, so those those are not really that good. Um, a 91, what do we get out of this one? Maybe we could do some little crafting materials. Hold up, it's, uh, 25. All right, so that was for the, um, yeah, they don't have anything for the higher overalls. And then I guess they have the, um, they have the actual exchange set that really gives out not too good of anything either. So this one is, um, the 93 to 94, so exchange three of them. So it'll be a random 93 to 94. Now, this could turn out to be very, very glitchy. The problem is, do we want to gamble, uh, you know, 80K to make what though? Because what are the 93s going for? We can go ahead and check that out real quick. Because low key, you guys have been asking me like, yo, g -Maya, what you doing with that guy? Like, you guys really want to know. Like, dudes are really concerned. Like, yo, are you getting rid of that guy? He kind of sucks. And you guys are right. But it's going to cost us about 80K to go ahead and um, complete any of those sets. So let's go ahead and see what the quality of the 93 to 94 is. What are they, all right, see this is kind of weird because um, I guess if we get a 93, what's the lowest 93? Lowest 93 in this segment right here is like 75. So what's the lowest 94? Let's see, all right, so that's 109. So what are we gonna make, 20K to get rid of the 91 overall right now? I just don't, I don't think for me that it's worth it. It could be worth it for you, but like I said, I just don't want to take the minimal training when we could actually go ahead and do something unless, unless, right, we go ahead and we do that exchange set and then we go ahead and use what we get from that into another set to make even more. Those are the only kind of options that I have right now uh, looking at what's available. And um, again, this is the most ideal situation to make something out of what you already have because I don't think that there's much left. Even what is in this exchange set? 289 and 90s? Yeah, because a 91 is like that peak card where you have to like figure out what you want to do with it, man. Um, the team of the year, we could go check what those prices are to see if it would be worth it to do that. But again, because we just saw what the 94s were going for, that'll be like 140, 140K. You're not really making that much. So I guess what we could do is we can wait it out a little bit and see what they do with the remainder of what this Color Smash promo is gonna be. Because some way, somehow, that card is gonna make us some coins. I just don't know how it's gonna happen. And probably, I know you guys have been giving out some of the um, some of the feedback, 
you guys have been saying that the team of the year has been popping off with the you know with the re-rolls you know with the candy and stuff like that just note i got 55,000 candy so that's enough for almost three of those 96 overall cards so that's probably like around 600k right now just so you guys understand what's going on um as far as that goes um but we can look at the team of the year right and see what's going on with it as far as defensively you know like 122 for 95 like that's a good price that's a really good price right there like i said in my previous video i kind of sold things cheap um to kind of get rid of stuff but you know you guys can look through this and see what's available now that 96 if we pull the 96 we you know it's 177 but that's about what we're spending for it to get the new cards so right now it looks like we have to wait for like those challenges where we can get other nat cards and you know what's a good idea actually i just kind of it just hit me house rules house rules drop on uh april 7th and we're gonna grind it and get those packs for the free players and then what we're gonna do we're gonna you know finish it off with the rest of the stuff that way we don't spend anything out of our pocket it's all earned and then we'll go and then we'll just sell it back and make the 200k or the 180 whatever it is that's the game plan so if you guys are you know you guys are with me with it you guys understand what we just did there we just all together we were using our minds the right way and we realized when house rules drop we're getting a ton of free cards from just playing the game we will grind that and we will figure out what we're going to do next in regards to that situation i think that that's the best game plan that we can possibly have moving forward if you have any other issues with the game any other things you want to talk about please feel free to leave it in the comment section i want to thank you guys for joining me you guys go ahead and have a really really extreme blessed day until next time one love y'all